Hey tech enthusiasts, today we're going to be diving deep into the real differences between SAS and SATA. Two storage interfaces that are the backbone of data storage from everything from your home PC to enterprise data centers. If you've ever wondered why one costs more than the other, why one is faster than the other, or which is compatible or better for your setup, stick around because I got the answers for you. Welcome back to the Server Part Deals channel. My name is Gabe and let's get right to it. Here we have a SATA drive, and here we have a SAS drive. What's the difference between the two? Let's start with the basics. SAS stands for Serial Attached SCSI. That's Small Computer Systems Interface for the Uninitiated. While meanwhile, SATA is Serial Advanced Technology Attachment. Mouthfuls, I know, but the key difference comes down to what each is built for, and they both each have their own specific use case. SAS on one hand is enterprise grade. SAS is typically illustrated as SATA's bigger brother. Typically founded in data centers, it's designed for more mission critical environments where you need blazing fast data access and rock solid reliability. We're talking about speeds up to 12 gigabytes per second. On the latest versions and dual port functionality for redundancy, SAS really does come on top. It's perfect for servers and high performance systems. Now, on the flip side, SATA is your everyday consumer storage hero. It's cheaper, it's simpler, and it's great for mass storage in desktops or even game consoles. You get speeds up to six gigabits per second. That's still pretty fast for most tasks, but it lacks the advanced features that SAS brings to the table. Also for SSDs, SAS interface can handle more simultaneous operations, which makes it ideal for enterprise SSDs, where you need to handle heavy read and write loads without breaking a sweat. While SATA SSDs, they're still great for consumers, but they're not built for the high demand 24 seven environments. I go over this actually more in depth in the enterprise grade SSDs video and the other video on the channel. So if you wanna learn more about enterprise SSDs and the difference between those and consumer ones. Overall, there are many factors to take into consideration, including where and how the drive will be used which applications will be used, and what the necessary requirements are, as well as the capacity levels, the performance, the reliability, or the speed needed. For example, if you're going to use a drive in a 24 seven environment, a desktop drive will not be ideal because it's not designed to operate nonstop, unlike the enterprise grade SAS drives. SAS drives are designed to be running 24 seven. So here's the bottom line. If you're building a budget-friendly PC for your gaming or creative work, SATA will do just fine. But if you're managing a data enterprise, running virtual machines, or need absolute reliability, SAS is worth the investment. It's a professional tool for professional environments. From the standpoint of performance, a SATA drive will not be able to match the performance of a SAS drive. The performance of a SAS drive exceeds that of a SATA drive, by almost double in some cases. Furthermore, SAS drives are designed for continuous use. On the other hand, SATA drives generally have higher capacity for the price. And a key note for everyone because we get returns for it almost every week. SAS drives do not work in your desktop gaming PC. <clears throat> Again, SAS drives will not work with your desktop PC. Again, SAS drives will not show up on your computer. They look almost identical in terms of the connector. And if you were to plug in your SATA connector because you're like, oh, it looks the same, it's gonna plug right in, it's gonna work. It's not gonna spin up. It's not gonna show up on your device. The SAS and the SATA ports look almost identical, but like, it's just not gonna work. And then you're gonna be emailing us, you're gonna be calling us, why doesn't my drive work? The drive works fine. We test all of them before we send them out. It just doesn't work with your system. So when shopping online, save yourself the hassle, save us the trouble, save yourself the trouble, save yourself the time, and make sure you're purchasing the correct drive for your right interface. And it's compatible with your machine because no, nobody wants to buy something online, wait for it to get home, and then boom, you plug it in and it doesn't work. That is one of the worst feelings. So I'm here to look out for you, make sure you get the right information, and make sure you get the right interface. And that's it for today. If you find this helpful, help you smash that like button, subscribe for more tech breakdowns. You got questions? 
hit the comments. I read every single one. And remember, the right drive makes all the difference. So until next time, my name is Gabe with Server Part Deals and I'll see you later.